I thought of a scenario that I want to try with full self-driving. Will it drive me to a supercharger, find a stall, back itself in, and let me charge? <laughs> There's only one way to find out. Let's go do it. Okay, let's navigate to this supercharger here. It's got 23 stalls available, now 18 stalls. We're gonna do that and then turn on full self-drive, have it take us there and then see what happens. I don't know what's gonna happen, if it's just gonna give up once it gets as close or if it's actually gonna back itself in and let me plug in. That would be cool. If it doesn't do that, Tesla, are you listening? Are you listening? <laughs> Make it do that. All right, once we get on this uh, road here, I'm gonna throw it in full self-drive. There we go. We are hands-free and it is driving. I'm gonna take my glasses off because those are reading glasses and that would be weird. Uh, Preconditioning already for a fast charging and we are driving by itself, which is, you know, I've already doing that for a little while since uh, everybody's got the the free version and I've got three months after that because I signed up like right before they gave it away for free uh, for the month of April or beyond for those that are on the uh, .8 release for whatever reason, you guys haven't gotten those just yet. So uh, anyway, we are on our way to the local supercharger. It's a two and a half mile drive, about six minutes. And uh, I can't wait to see what it does once it gets us into the parking lot and gets us hopefully at least close to the superchargers. It is so proper when it comes to these. And then it <laughs> launches you after a stop sign. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Apply slight uh, steering. I'm gonna put my hands on the wheel. Let's see if, how long it'll go if my hands are actually on the wheel. Because typically during all my videos and my uh, tests with full self-drive, I've kind of folded my hands like up here, waiting, ready, whatever. Uh, I'm gonna leave them on here and see what happens. If it detects that or, or whatever. Got that rattling noise. I don't know, you guys have, on the older Model 3s, the speaker that doesn't work on the A-pillar, it, it frequently rattles for me. How about you guys? I don't know. I also have a noise in my Model Y that I think I'm gonna do a video on because others have got to have it. And it is so unbelievably annoying. It seems to be coming from the passenger side rear seat area. And it seems to be, like a rolling marble sound, if that makes sense, on right turns. It might be both turns, I'm not sure, but uh, certainly on right turns, and it just goes And I know people are gonna say, oh, it's probably a kid, you know, threw an M&M in the vent or whatever, but I've had a cover on those vents like since day one, so it would have had to have happened pretty early. And I've been doing some research on it, and other people have the same sound, so it seems, it's not the seatbelt. I've kind of taped that in place and done and done tests with that. I know this is completely off topic for what we're um, doing here today, but we're sitting at a red light, thought I'd bring it up. Maybe you've come up with that as well or heard that. Um, rolling marble sound effect from the rear area somewhere. I'm gonna, I'm gonna set up the car with mics and stuff, I think, and we'll see, we'll do a test on that and maybe you'll hear what I hear. Watch, I do all that, make a bunch of right turns and nothing happens. <laughs> <laughs> that would be my luck, right? All right, hands back on the wheel. Well, that's kind of hard to do when it's turning. Don't hit the curb. I heard that some full self-driving things have uh, hit curbs and stuff, so that's kind of unfortunate. I've got a video coming up on uh, how to solve the uh, curbed wheel scenario. It's a fix, it's a repair, of course, but it's an option. I find it interesting it's parked here in the far left lane despite going kind of slow. And wow, it stops way short of the line and the crosswalk. I guess it's an abundance of caution. Let's see how it launches coming off the, uh, the green light here. <laughs> All right, off we go, and yeah, it's a pretty uh, aggressive launch from a green light, which is kind of cool, because that's kind of how I would drive. It's gonna take us to a, a pretty major intersection, double left turn lanes, and 
then right after that, there's another light that it takes us to the parking lot itself. Up until now, I haven't really trusted it in parking lots, so that alone is going to be interesting to watch. Now, this particular parking lot does have, you know, stop signs and things that you'd see normally uh, on the street. Some parking lots are the Wild West, like nothing. <laughs> Just hope for the best and don't wreck. All right, turn signals on, slowing down. Again, not how I would drive. Oh, it's taking the far right, despite us needing to make a left turn immediately after this. Weird, I would go into that left lane. I'll let it do its thing, but that this is not where I would go. And that's part of the problem with full self-drive, at least in my uh, limited use of it so far, is it's not how I would drive at all. It seems to take forever to get anywhere in town if you compare it to how I would drive. I'm not saying I'm, you know, Jeff Gordon or anything out there, but um, I just know the back ways, the quicker ways to go, what lane to be in and where, and all that kind of stuff, and it just doesn't do that. At least it hasn't learned that yet. And so it's slower, in my opinion, despite it being better, because I did have version 11 for uh, a brief time right before the v12 dropped and that was pretty rough this is definitely smoother definitely um better would i pay for it i don't know that's another video right now i've got it free on credits thanks to you guys which is unfortunately going away now uh, but i've got a lot of credits built up that i could probably have it for a while i'll, I'll just keep doing that and free supercharging until there's a new referral program so we need to make a left here, and then the next light up, we need to make another left. And I really, I can't wait to see what happens here. I really, really, truly hope it backs us into a, a supercharger stall. All right, little roll, and here we go. Okay, it's lucky there's nobody next to us, because it does need to get over. My guess is it's gonna turn on the turn signal right away. A little launch, yep, here we go, getting into that lane. Wants to tug on the wheel, because I didn't have my hands on it. And right here at this light, we're gonna make a left as well. So what's it gonna do? And again, far right lane of the two lefts. Got a Tesla Model Y performance on our right. We've got a Tesla Model uh, 3 dual motor on our left. Got a green arrow. What's it gonna do as we head into the parking lot with the supercharger? I like how it slowed down. This is a steep driveway here. It's getting over. It's got a stop sign. Does it know it has a stop sign? Yeah, it should. What's it gonna do here? Well, it tra treated it just like a regular stop sign. I love it. So far, so good. Okay, superchargers are coming up on the right. Uh, but it's turning in the wrong place. Okay. All right. It's taking a weird way to us, or to it. On the nav here, it has us going up here and making a, a left. I'm not sure why it didn't just drive us to the aisle with the supercharger. Okay. Well... We're stopping at the stop sign, or stop line, I guess I should say. And here we go. Whoop, speed bump, speed bump. Okay. <laughs> nope, didn't care about that. Auto navigation complete. And it's, there goes the superchargers. Bye, superchargers. And it does not care about the speed bumps. Okay, so it failed miserably. It failed completely and totally miserably and did not take us to the superchargers. Passed them up, actually, and didn't adhere to these speed bumps at all it was like accelerating and stuff so all right well elon uh and the folks at tesla are you guys listening it would be really really cool if full self-driving drove us to a supercharger and did what this human is about to do and that is actually back us into a stall come on this is not hard stuff surely you can uh program it to do this I know, I know, don't call me Shirley. Well, there you go. 
I'm at the supercharger, but I needed to use some human intervention to actually get us into the stall and um, get us uh, supercharging. So unfortunately for this one, human one, AI Tesla full self-drive, zero. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching and finding out along with me as uh, we keep testing out full self-driving and all the things it can do and all the things that it can't do. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so and take it a step further and hit the bell if you want to know when something is new. Uh, thanks again for watching. We'll catch you on the next video.